Hello and welcome back to Narrowboat Florence Rose. Today we're doing the rest of the Lapua flocks. We're going to start at number six and I think we're going to go down to number 20. So come along with us. I'm doing them with Ted today. We're doing my boat first and then we'll be doing Ella, Ted's boat next. So we'll do a bit of video in for both and we'll space it out over a few episodes. So let's get along and get these locks sorted. So first lock of the day folks, lock number six. There's Ted on the windlass. <laughs> Just take it nice and easy Ted, there's no rush. Oh god yeah, it's because of the leaks on it. It's leaking like a sieve. Just controlling the boat via the Morse control, so going forwards and backwards using the engine. open Ted just leave it don't worry as long as we've got one open doesn't matter no point killing yourself on one that's stiff I can't hear you can't hear you <laughs> can, can, can I hear you <laughs> Right, so I just wanted to show you basically what the inside of the locks look like when you're obviously going down. I'll carry on the video up to the next lock um, so you can just see what that one looks like as well. But then I'll just do little snippets. It's only to get you a little overview to show you the lock gates and that. Okay, so Ted's ready. Let's get off. No, close up. Ne never, unless there's a boat coming, right. never leave them open. Okay. Just in case we get a flood on the one lock, oh, the water will gush yeah. through like there's no tomorrow. Okay, so, all, as a rule, always close them. Right, well, I'll try and get down there as quickly as I can. Yeah, no bother, man. Like I say, there's no rush to. Right. We're not going to kill ourselves today. No chance. <laughs> I won't get any material from the duck One hundred and one ways of dying off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> I've survived most of them. <laughs> it's very dodgy one that Ted. Yeah. What? Yeah, I'll I'll pick it up in a sec. There's not much I can do. Yeah. Oh, it's easy to see how, how they go. You know. No, that's why it's best to pick them up before you uh, before you set off type of thing. But sometimes you can't. So. Oh well. well that was something else I learned yesterday. Yeah. Take your fenders off for a lot. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, this, this one was all right as well. It was probably about pound. I didn't have to um, do that one. It's all. Yeah. All good to go. Well, I think the locks will all be set in our favour, to be honest. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah, definitely. Let's that couple was up there. I'm thinking, oh, should we go back? I mean, come on, we'll be really great, but we'll set the locks in their favour. Yeah. 
what you've got to do now is yeah. open one paddle. Yeah. While that, while I'm going down slow, then you can close those, mate. Close those ones. Those That's the one we just come through. It is absolutely beautiful up here. Got a little pound type there. There goes Ted because he left the gates open on the other one and it's not very nice to do that. And also, if you drain in one lock, it can drain the water that's above the lock where the gates are open. So, got to go back and close them gates. But it's a very short walk, so, you know, one minute later, all's well with the world. Here we are, lock nine. You can see the flight ahead of us. I'll zoom in just a touch. It looks absolutely superb. Fantastic down there. We're doing quite well, lock number 12. Ted's burned brilliant on the windlass. Let's get in this one. It is uh, quite a bit breezy, you're probably picking it up on the camera, but it has been taking the boat a little bit. So that's why I'm trying to get the nose in and position the boat so it, it doesn't push us over into the pound. We've got a little bit of a boat yard here, or a mooring spot, I'm not sure which. Just show you the water coming out of the, well, draining from the rear. Well, it's draining from the front, but I'm showing you the rear. You get the idea. It's the sun affecting me. <laughs> Give it a bit of reverse so we've got a bit of space at the front as well as the rear. So we've got a bit further down, we've got a little basin down here where there's a few boats moored behind in front of us as well. Quite a nice little spot, we've just spent half an hour, had a cup of tea. And a nice little relaxing chat and we had got our chairs out. If we had a picnic, we'd have ate that, I suppose, but we ain't got one, so we can't eat it. <laughs> yeah, well, if I had a picnic and all those locks, you know, I'm worried I might get a hernia. Yeah. even messier. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, nice little spot down here. I'll show you what it's like from the front. Going down. The next lock is number 15. And I reckon it's about a quarter of a mile down the way, so we'll get underway. And we'll be off in a minute, I think. Absolutely spectacular today, isn't it? That's gorgeous. Ooh. Beautiful. Liberty what? Bell, wasn't that a bomber? Uh, it might have been. That one was up at Hockley Heath not long ago. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what as well, Florence Rose runs so smoothly, mm. you know, you can, I can really feel the difference, she's steady as a rock, though, as that was, you know, bucketing all over the place. Oh, okay. Right, what I'll do is I'll put you off at okay. the mooring point. We'll go from there, I think. Right, eh? One hook it at oh, the right. top left. Yeah, oh yeah, that does it. Yeah. Just make sure you don't trip over it, Ted. Do you know what I mean? Make sure I've got good purchase. 
I'll tell you when you can get on, okay? Because it's not yet. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, that looks like they've got a different kind of... Um, yeah. Thing. yeah. Oh, well. Hopefully it'll be easier with that. It's a hydraulic top. Oh, like I said, hopefully that'll be easier. Never mind, Ted, these things happen. <laughs> As you can see, the next lock is smack bang right here. You know, it's probably just over a 70 foot boat length. They're really uh, close together, I've noticed these. Right, to get the bow in. Come off the revs a bit. Just line it up with the lock. There we go. There goes Ted. Okay, we lined up really nice now. So, here we are, Kingswood Junction. Bridge is beautiful here little legend where there's supposed to be a ghost, it's supposed to be haunted and uh, the fellow was walking from the pub down the towpath, stepped onto the ice and uh, drowned unfortunately but um, apparently you're not, you don't see the ghost, you, um, you hear the ice crack, you hear a plop, him shout out and that's that. But it is a lovely bridge, a thought video of a little bit of it for you to see. Alright then. the Grand Union Stratford Canal. You'll see that a bit better as we go through. But yeah, very nice spot round here. We've got more of the iron work bridges. Looks really nice. Right then, off we go towards the Grand Union. Oh, 
very noisy lot that one. Right. Can't hear a thing down there, Ted, with that lock. I bet you can't. So noisy. You can't. So they've sailed that one. This is the opposite side to what we're looking at. Lovely little spot this is. Beautiful views. CRT offices are just over here. Can't find a water point there. So we'll have to see if we come across one. Nothing coming up, is that? Right, Ted, I shall see you tomorrow, mate. Thank you for your help. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, Ted, I shall see you tomorrow, mate. Alright, see you tomorrow, Rob. Take care, mate. You too. And here we are folks on the Grand Junior. Lovely jubbly. See you Ted. Yeah. Right then folks, I think I'll leave the video here. Hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll catch you in the next episode of Narrowboat Florence Rose. So bye for now.